Hey guys, ever wondered how to turn a sea of online reviews into a gold mine of sales data? Well, today we're diving into the world of sentiment analysis to do just that. But here's the twist. While most people see reviews as just feedback, we're going to transform them into actionable insights using AI, giving you a competitive edge that others are missing out on. So stick around to discover how this under the radar strategy can work wonders on your business. So first of all, thank you for coming back and a big welcome to all the new subscribers joining us today. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Jake Dawson and I'm here to bring you the latest in AI sales automation and workflow hacks in a way that's easy to understand and apply. And as always, remember that everything we cover here is to help you succeed. These are not just theories, but actionable strategies you can use right now. Now, if you're new here or looking for even more ways to level up, don't forget to check out the school community link below. Inside, you'll find exclusive make.com templates, including the one that we're using today that you can import and start using immediately. We have built a whole space for learners and doers just like you, where you can ask questions, get direct help, and connect with like-minded folks ready to take action. And of course, you can always subscribe and hit that bell button to get notified of our bi-weekly videos, live sessions, and more. Let's jump right in. So why scrape reviews for leads with sentiment analysis? Imagine being able to pinpoint exactly what customers love or dislike about your competitor's products, and then crafting your pitch to hit all the right notes. Reviews are like open diaries where customers spill their unfiltered thoughts. By digging into these, you see patterns in complaints, praise, and recommendations. That's pure gold when you're looking to pitch your product or improve your own services. And with a little automation magic, this process becomes easy as pie. Apple pie, if we're being honest here. Okay, setup one. We're heading into Google Drive. Open up your drive and let's set up a workspace to keep everything neat. Name a new folder something like Reviews Scraping. This is the home base for all the data we're about to collect. Inside this folder, create a Google spreadsheet. Call it Reviews Insight. It's like setting the table before a big dinner. Everything needs to be in place. Open the spreadsheet and rename the first sheet to URLs. Add two columns, one for URL of the company's site you're scraping and another for the company's name. For example, if you're scraping information about Lindywell, put your desired company link in the URL column like lindywell.com and the company name in the next column. Nice, let's continue. Now let's prepare a second sheet in the same spreadsheet. Click that little plus sign at the bottom to add a new sheet and call it reviews. This is where the real action is gonna happen. Set up columns for all the juicy details we want. The company's name, the reviewer's name, the review title, the review text, the star rating, the review link, sentiment analysis results, and any notes on advantages, weaknesses, and recommendations. Think of it like building a recipe. You need all the ingredients lined up to make something amazing. Next up is Appify. If you haven't heard of it, think of Appify as your automation sidekick. It scrapes websites for you, pulling structured data like reviews without lifting a finger. Head over to Appify's website, create an account if you don't already have one, and log in. Once you're in, check out the left-hand menu and click on the store. This is where all the scraping tools live. In the store, search for Trustpilot Reviews Scraper. You're looking for the one made by Casper. Trust me, it's a good one. Click on it and you'll see a detailed page about how to set it up. Don't stress, it's user-friendly, even for guys who don't know the first thing about coding. Once you're on the Trustpilot Review Scraper page in the Appify store, you'll see all the details about what to do for this scraper. First, look for the input fields on the setup page. You'll see a section labeled something like company website to scrape reviews for. This is where you'll paste the company URL of the company you want to analyze. It could be a competitor, your own business, or even a benchmark company in your industry. Just grab the URL, paste it in, and you're good to go. Next, configure the pagination settings. You'll notice fields like page to start scraping from and page to scrape last. Start simple, set the first field to one and the second to one as well if you're just testing things out. If you're ready to dive deeper, increase the last page number to say 10 or 20, depending on how many reviews you want to scrape. Just remember, more pages mean more data. 
but also more time for the scraper to do its thing. Once that's ready, hit start. Now, here's where things get slightly quirky. You'll need to rent the actor. Don't worry, this isn't shady. Just confirm the rental and click start again. The scraper will get to work, and after a few minutes, voila, your data will be ready. To check it out, head to the actor's table where everything is laid out like a perfectly cooked steak. All you need to do is export it. Now comes the fun part, automating this whole thing with make.com. If you've never used Make before, think of it as your personal assistant for repetitive tasks. No whining, no coffee breaks, just pure automation goodness. Head over to make.com and either log in or sign up for an account. Once you're in, navigate to the scenarios page. This is where all the magic happens. To create a new automation, click on that shiny create a new scenario button in the top right corner. It's like opening a blank canvas full of possibilities. In your new scenario, start by adding a new module. Search for Google Sheets and select the search rows action, then click that magical button, connect with Google Sheets. You'll sign in with your Google account to link it up. Once you're in, you'll see a list of your Google Sheets. Remember that Reviews Insights sheet we created earlier? That's the one, select it, and then choose the URL sheet specifically. This is where make.com will grab the data that it needs. After selecting it, click OK to save your settings. Done and dusted. Now let's bring in the star of the show, Appify. Click on the little plus sign to add a new module in your scenario. Search for Appify and choose the one with the run an actor action. If you've never connected to Appify before, no worries, just hit add to link your account. This part's a bit like finding your Wi-Fi password. It's somewhere, but you need to look for it. Head over to Appify's website and you'll land on the API and integrations page. You'll find your API token here. Copy it and click save. Boom, you are officially connected. Next, it's time to configure the Trustpilot Review Scraper. In the Actors dropdown, find Trustpilot Review Scraper and select it. Then under the Run Synchronously option, select Yes, this just means everything will run in real time, so you don't have to wait around for results like you're in the world's slowest drive through Now, for the slightly techy part. Don't worry, I've got you. Go back to Appify and open the Trustpilot Reviews Scraper Actor page. Here, you'll see two buttons, Manual and JSON. Click on JSON, and a window will pop up with a bunch of texts. It might look intimidating, but it's basically the instructions for your scraper. Copy all that JSON code, yes, all of it, and head back to make.com. In the input JSON field, paste it in, but make sure you use paste and match style. This keeps everything neat and tidy, like folding your laundry instead of stuffing it in a drawer. In your Appify JSON settings, replace the placeholder company website field with the actual URL column from your Google Sheet. It's as simple as copying and pasting, but make sure you're linking it directly to the right field in Appify. Once you've done that, hit OK to save your settings. Easy, right? Now that your scraper is locked and loaded, it's time to retrieve the results. Click that trusty plus sign and search for Appify. Choose the action that says Get Dataset Items. This is where you'll grab all the scraped data and pull it into your workflow. In the configuration menu, select the dataset ID from the first Appify module we set up earlier. It'll show up in a dropdown, so you don't have to memorize anything. Next, set the limit for how many results you want to retrieve. For a quick test, stick to something manageable like 100. You can always increase this later once you're confident everything's running smoothly. After that, hit OK to save and click Run Once to let the scraper do its things. Within moments, you'll see a flood of data pouring in. It's like hitting the jackpot at a slot machine, except this jackpot is full of actionable insights. With the data in hand, the next step is all about extracting the details you need. Focus on the review description property in the Appify dataset. This is where the meat of the review lives. The text that tells you what people love, hate, or wish they had. This is pure gold for sentiment analysis. Speaking of sentiment analysis, this is where OpenAI steps in. Go back to make.com and add another module. This time search for OpenAI and choose the create a completion action. You're essentially telling OpenAI, hey, take a look at this text and tell me what people are feeling. If you haven't connected OpenAI to make.com yet, don't panic, it's a quick process. 
click the Add button to set up the integration, OpenAI will ask you for an API key, which you can grab by logging into your OpenAI account and navigating to the API settings page. At the top right, there's a button that says, Create New Secret Key. Click it. Now, name your key something simple like make.com so you don't forget why you created it in the first place. Hit the Create a Secret Key button and voila, your key will appear. Make sure you copy it immediately. This is one of those see it once and it's gone situations. Paste it somewhere safe for now. Next, jump back into make.com in the OpenAI integration settings. Paste the secret key into the API key field. Once that's done, hit save and you're all set to connect make.com with OpenAI. That's it. Now you're officially plugged into one of the most powerful AI tools out there. Pretty cool. Now let's configure the OpenAI module to analyze those reviews. Start by selecting the model, go with GPT-40. It's the big brother of the GPT models, smarter, better, and understands complex tasks. For your first prompt, set the role as user and craft a clear and detailed instruction, something like this. Perform a detailed sentiment analysis on the following product review and provide the output as a structured JSON object. Include the overall sentiment, positive, negative, or neutral. A list of advantages mentioned in the review, a list of weaknesses, and AI recommendations for overcoming the weaknesses. Now here's the fun part. Connect the review description from your last Appify module directly into the prompt. This ensures the AI is analyzing the right content. For your second message, set the role to system and include an example output format, something like this. Output the response as a JSON object with keys for sentiment, advantages, weaknesses, and recommendations. Once the prompts are set, let's move to the response settings. Leave the max completion tokens blank. OpenAI is smart enough to figure out how much detail to provide. Toggle the show advanced settings options and change the response format to JSON object. This will make the output clean and ready to use in your workflow. After that, click save and you're ready to roll. But we're not done yet. Next, we'll parse that JSON response. Think of this as the translator that takes the data OpenAI spits out and turns it into something Google Sheets can understand. Click that little plus sign again and search for JSON, then select the parse JSON action. When you're setting it up, you'll need to point it to the data coming from OpenAI. Look for the result field in the OpenAI output and link it here. This tells the JSON module exactly what it's parsing. Now, click Run Once to test the setup. This step is important. It's like taste testing a recipe before serving it. Wait a few seconds for the magic to happen, and then check the output. You should see all the different properties, sentiment, advantages, weaknesses, recommendations laid out separately. If it looks good, we're ready to move on. Next, let's connect this data to Google Sheets. Add a new module for Google Sheets and select the Add a Row action. This is the part where all your data gets neatly placed into the spreadsheet. Choose the spreadsheet we set up earlier, Reviews Insight, and make sure the sheet name is set to Reviews. This is where the real work begins, mapping all the data into the right columns. Start with the basics. Map the company's name from the Appify output to the company's name column in Google Sheets. Then map the reviewer's name, the review title, and the review description. Don't forget the review link and star rating too. They all have their place. Now here's where the JSON module comes in. Take the sentiment, advantages, weaknesses, and recommendations from the JSON output and map them to their perspective columns in the sheet. Once everything is mapped, click OK to save your settings. This is the home stretch. Hit run once and watch as all your data flows into your spreadsheet. It's so satisfying to see it come together, like assembling IKEA furniture, but without any missing screws. After the automation runs, open your Google Sheet and double check the results. Everything should be in its place, from the company's names to the AI-generated insights. If something looks off, go back and tweak the mappings or settings. But if everything checks out, congratulations. You've just built a fully automated system that scrapes reviews, analyzes them, and organizes the data into a usable format. Take a moment to appreciate what you've just accomplished. This setup isn't just functional. 
it's a game changer for understanding your market and planning your outreach. You've just turned hours of manual work into an automated process that runs while you sleep. Now, let's get ready to put this data to use and crush those sales goals. Great work. If you run into any issues or need more help, leave a comment below. I'll be happy to assist. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more easy to follow automation tips. And if you're serious about taking your automation game to the next level, check out our school community. It's linked below. Inside you'll find exclusive templates, resources, and a supportive group of like-minded people ready to help you succeed. Plus the exact template that we use today, it's in there. So don't miss it. Oh, and before you click away, here's a video you'll probably wanna watch next. It's packed with even more tips to help you crush it with automation. I'll see you there.